Hey YouTube, it is Mrs. CP and today I am going to start off my series on how to coupon at specific stores. I had mentioned this series in either my last video or the one before that, but I'm, I'm doing a giveaway right now and if you haven't entered that giveaway, go ahead and head over there and enter it. I'll put a link in the description. And I found out that a lot of you guys are new to couponing and a lot of you guys are confused and don't know what to do and the reason why you haven't really started couponing is because you don't really understand it. So this will be the first video in this series. This series I'll be doing one video a week for each store and I'm starting off with CVS. If you have a request, leave it in the comment section below and let me know what specific stores you are looking for and I will get to it. Okay, so CVS. The first thing you want to do when you decide to start shopping at CVS is get an extra care card. Mine is beat up. I've had it for God knows how long. But you're going to want to go to the store and you want to register for this extra care card. Now when you get it and you take it home, you're going to want to do two things with it. You're going to go to CVS.com and you're going to register it there. And by registering it, you'll be able to get exclusive coupons in your email on a weekly basis and they usually come on Thursdays and these coupons range from a percent off your total purchase to a certain amount off of an amount purchased like a four dollars off a twenty dollar purchase of five dollars off a of thirty and so forth so you want to definitely register your card and then the next place you're going to register your card is with the beauty club and the way the beauty club works is when you buy fifty dollars in beauty items like hair care and makeup and things like that you'll earn a five dollar extra care buck with it so that's definitely the first step on what you want to do so you've got your card now what do you need to do when you go into CVS for your first shopping trip they have what I call the magic coupon machine and I'll put a picture in for you so you can see what it looks like and you're going to want to scan your card at the machine and it'll print out coupons that look similar to this now most people will just scan their card once and walk away no you want to scan your card until it tells you there are no more coupons available because the coupons that print out of the box the magic coupon machine you can stack with manufacturer coupons to bring your out of pocket down even lower which we'll go over here in a second so stacking basically means that you can use a manufacturer's coupon either a printable or one from the inserts that looks like this and a CVS coupon now you can get CVS coupons from their website too they have exclusive coupons on their website that are CVS coupons that you can stack with manufacturers coupons as well but I'm just gonna go over the stacking and using this one and the way that the stacking works is I did a scenario these scenarios are not good at the store right now they're just random scenarios that I came up with and so you would buy four of the Pantene's right here and say they were $3.99 so your price would be $15.96. I ran out of room, so I kind of squeezed it in there. And you would use two of your manufacturer's coupons. And these are, the reason why I'm saying two is because these are $3 off of any two. And because I'm buying four, I can use two of them. And then you would use your CVS coupon that says $3 off of $15 purchase of shampoo, conditioner, or hair care products. So that's what it would look like so you would pay six dollars and ninety six cents out of pocket and let's just say you get a four dollar extra care buck so you would actually find your final price would be two ninety six after extra care bucks making them seventy four cents each so that that's a way to stack your coupons in order to bring your out of pocket down as much as possible I did make notes so I can remember everything Okay, so now we've gone over our first scenario and you're probably wondering, okay, what are extra care bucks? If you've never shopped at CVS, you may not know what extra care bucks are and I'm, I'm breaking this video down as much as I can. We'll break it down Barney style. Okay, so these are what extra care bucks. This is actually a beauty club reward. And these are basically 
cash that you can use in store. There are some limitations. You can't use them on items like prescriptions, alcohol, gift cards, lottery, money orders, post postage stamps, or tobacco products, but you can use them for pretty much anything else in the store. And so if, say if I had an extra care buck for this Pantene deal, I wouldn't pay $6.96 out of pocket, I'd pay $1.96 out of pocket and get a $4 extra care buck back. So you wanna definitely hang on to these extra care bucks. They print off at the bottom of your receipt. So the next thing we're gonna go into is rolling our extra care bucks. And the way that we roll our extra care bucks, I'm just gonna set up a nice little scenario for you guys. And we're gonna play make believe with the extra care bucks and everything, cause I don't have the exact amounts that I had wrote down for the scenarios. So let's say, we one of the deals is toothpaste. And like I've said in many, many videos, never pay full price for toothpaste. So you would buy two toothpaste at $2 each, which we have right here. And then we'd use two of our $1 manufacturer's coupons. We'll pretend these are toothpaste coupons for right now. So you would pay $2 and then you would get a $2 extra care buck, which would print off at, at the end of your receipt. You would pay your $2, your receipt will print off, and your extra care buck will be at the bottom of your receipt. So what you're going to do with that extra care buck that prints off at the bottom of your receipt is you're going to roll it into your next transaction. And the way that you roll is you can do multiple transactions at CVS a day. I try not to do more than three a day. I try not to do more than one a day because I've built up my extra care box, but we will go over that at the end of the video on how to do that. But you will take your extra care box that you got from your transaction one. We'll pretend this is a $2 extra care box because I don't have a $2. And you would buy two shampoos at $2.99 each, which would make it $5.98. You would use two $1 manufacturer coupons and then you would use your extra care buck that you got from transaction one. So you would pay $1.98 and get a $2 extra care buck, making it free after your extra care buck. And so you would get, you would pay your two or your $1.98 out of pocket and then at the bottom of your receipt, your extra care buck will print out, which you can then roll into another transaction if you'd like. Now, if you've watched couponing videos, you've probably heard people say, this is a money-making transaction, and I wanna go over, just so you're not confused as far as what a money-making transaction is and what it is not. Because extra care bucks, I consider extra care bucks, any type of store rewards, gift cards that I get back from purchasing, those are all considered cash. So if you bring, if you have to pay into it with an extra care buck, and you don't get more than what you had paid into it with that extra care buck, it's not a money-making deal. So I'll give you some examples. If you buy one toothpaste for a dollar, and then you use a dollar off manufacturer's coupon, you pay zero out of pocket and get a one dollar extra care buck. That would make it completely free and a one dollar money maker. And that's because I'm paying zero out of pocket and I'm not using any extra care bucks in this transaction. So it would be a money-making deal. What is not a money-making deal is if you buy a toothpaste that's a $2 and you have a $1 off one manufacturer's coupon and you use an extra care buck, you would pay zero. Yes, you would pay zero out of pocket as far as cash money goes, but you paid with a dollar extra care buck. So that's why it's not a money-making deal. Even though you paid zero out of pocket and got a dollar extra care buck, it would be considered a free deal because you're replacing that $1 extra care book with the one that you used. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense. And then also, once you get your receipt, after you've checked out, you always wanna make sure on your receipt, if you're going for specific deals, you always wanna, of course, make sure your extra care book printed off. And then you wanna look at your offers. Any extra care deals that are going on for that week that you've started to purchase towards will track on your receipt. So you'll always want to check to make sure you haven't like 
missed it by a few cents or anything like that. That way you're still in the store and you can run and grab something to make that total come up so it'll print your extra care buck. So it'll show you like right here, the Conair spend eight, get four. And I spent $7.98 towards that deal and I would need two cents to redeem that deal. But my extra care buck on that deal actually did print out because CVS has what is called a 98% rule. It means that you need to get within 98% of that total price in order for the extra care buck to kick out. So if it was, you know, spend a dollar, get a dollar extra care buck on candy. I wouldn't have to spend the entire dollar I, as long as I came up to 98 cents it would spin out that extra care book so I hope that makes sense to you guys if you guys have questions please please leave them in the comments I kind of just threw everything together to get this done um, I'm trying to think if there is anything else at CVS that you would need to know but I think I pretty much covered everything you know make sure you get your CVS card and you register it at cvs.com and the beauty club. I'll put a link in the description where you can do all that stuff. And then make sure you always scan your card at the, at the magic coupon machine to get all of your coupons. And another thing with these coupons is even though you may not be able to use them in that specific trip, hang on to them because you never know that next week you might be able to use them and also it varies by store some stores will let you use the expired CVS coupons up to a month after they have expired but you need to ask your cashier first and find out if they will allow you to use expired ones but don't just toss these out because you never know it could turn a a good deal into a free deal or even into a money-making deal so you always want to hang on to these even if you didn't use them in that transaction because they usually expire like one to two weeks out from when you print them and then you can also go to CVS once you register your card at CVS.com you can track your beauty club you can track your yearly spending and you can also see what coupons are going to print out for you at the magic coupon machine and that was the next, the last thing I wanted to go over was how to build your extra care bucks up. There are a few ways you can build your extra care bucks up. You could be weird like me and Black Friday is one of the best times to shop at CVS to build your extra care bucks back because they have a lot of free deals after rewards. They'll do a lot of promotions where something will be on sale for $7, get a $7 extra care buck back. But there's also your quarterly spending. And that tracks on your receipt, as you can see, that my summer spending for 2013 is only $45.20. And that is that started as of June 1st. And it'll track for the quarter. And then at the end of the quarter, I'll get 2% back of everything that I spent. Like this quarter, July 1st, was when we got our quarterly bucks back. And I think I got, I got $8.00. Yeah, I got $8 in extra care bucks back for my quarterly spending. So that's another way to build up your extra care boxes. Even though you're just, you're rolling and you're rolling and you're rolling and you're rolling, at the end of that quarter, everything that you've actually paid out of pocket, you'll get an extra care buck back for that. And that's one of the best times to build up your extra care bucks because you can use that extra care buck to get more extra care bucks to stack on top of each other and eventually you'll end up like me with 20 to 30 dollars extra care bucks every week and you'll only have to do one transaction at a time but that is what i've got for you guys today so be sure to subscribe and head over and follow us on facebook and i actually just got my instagram up and running so when i'm in the stores i can snap some pictures with coupons and that'll be your best place to see it first because i may not get to a video if it's just one or two things i'm getting at the store so be sure to follow me on instagram and i'll put all of these how-to videos in a nice little playlist so you guys can keep track of them there and so i will see you guys on the next video and happy prepping